IT is an area where we have some broad responsibilities as well as we collaborate with the individual IT shops from the separate, separately elected offices. Uh, all told, we have a $3 billion operating budget. Um, our total budget is around $4 billion, including special purpose funds and capital, uh, which, and for the 5.5 million residents in the, in the county, it makes us one of the largest governments uh, in the country. We would be, I believe, the 19th largest state. So we're a pretty big government for a county. And uh, all in all, my effort is to do that in a way uh, that is more fact-based and where we're using data and we're using uh, information, administrative data sets, as well as uh, other, other data that we, we get from, from other agencies like the state or from the city of Chicago to more effectively manage our operations. So my, my, main, my main role is to work with each office to effectively manage our operations so we deliver high quality services to the residents. I also provide another rule, which is uh, because every office and agency is reporting data to us, every quarter we, we report uh, on our website, performance.cookcountyil.gov, um, administrative data about how your government's performing. So Derek Thomas, the Director of Applications with the Bureau of Technology, and I'll talk a little bit about where the data lives in terms of the platforms uh, within the county. and. Uh, I know when Andy uh, started uh, with performance management, you know, it's kind of tough because we have a lot of legacy data and it resides on the AS400, the I series, and the mainframe Z series. Uh, but we have taken many, many strides and we're looking to do a lot of exciting things, which I'll talk a little bit about. So, in terms of justice, uh, we've broken things out in, in sectors like Andy kind of laid out. And so, in terms of justice, the Bureau of Technology helps support. Uh, the chief judge, uh, and you know, you can go to the site and find out more about what their data is, but, uh, but ultimately a lot of their data resides on the mainframe. So when it comes to mining data, it's somewhat challenging because you literally have to write a program, you know, COBOL, whatever you choose, every time you want to get data out. But we're working on it, and, and we're looking to improve. Uh, Public Defender, uh, they actually have data on the AS400 as well as uh, some legacy solutions, but we are moving towards more, more, more modern solutions there. Uh, the state's attorney, uh, they're part of an overall effort uh, that is actually what we call the bus. Uh, we actually are in the process of starting, a kicking off project to implement an enterprise uh, service bus. And this will help link justice so that we can eliminate a lot of the batch processing, uh, manual jobs that have to run and share data. Uh, it's going to help us collaborate a great deal more across the entire enterprise, not just in justice. It's where it's starting, but it's going to actually scale across all of our major enterprise systems, which in turn, um, part of our vision is to make more data readily available for you and to do it in an automated fashion. So that's a key component of what we're doing um, this share. One of the things that I can say and I'm proud to say about uh, Cook County Health and Hospital System we do have electronic medical record. Our vendor is Cerner. So therefore, we are just like our competitors in the medical district with uh, U of I, Rush, Mount Sinai. And I'm happy to say we are doing everything electronic from registration. And you will get a bill. <laughs> <laughs> so we do have data on many uh, election facets like uh, uh, voter turnout, uh, early voting turnout, um, precinct, uh, you know, information, and you know, just I, we, we have some data in the, op the county open data as well as I would encourage you to visit our site, the uh, uh, cookcountycook.com, and you can see a series of some of the data that you can download, ballots, cast, election results, and things like that.